Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to add an item here. We have successfully completed the delete functionality. So now when I try to add some item here and I click on add, it needs to be added directly here. But instead of adding, it is the page is getting refreshed. We know the default functionality of this form. So normally in our thing, if you try to see here the code, the shopping list. Okay. Here we are having two forms. So search item and also another one is the add item. So these are the two forms which are existing in our shopping cart application. Now if you try to see here, we have already discussed about this one. What is that one? So in our DOM, in order to get the forms, list of forms available in the HTML, so there is a special method available that is nothing but document dot forms I have shown you previously. It will give you an HTML collection. It consists of two items. So right now we are having two forms. One is a search item and also an add item. So this is this one is an ID. So we have given the form with an ID. <clears throat> now if you want you can also search with something like document dot forms of one. So then you will get a form add item. Or otherwise, you can also search it with something like with that ID name like this. Then also you will be able to get the well, form thing. So this is this is one way getting. So another way is you can use a query selector and get element like that also. You can get it. It's not a problem. So just I am try, trying to explain you. So like this, we have a method available document.forms in which we can get the form. Now let's go to the thing. So we understood about this one, right? Now it's time for us to make this one as a functionality. So here the form has then event that is nothing but submit event. When you click on this add, the form will be submitted. So now when you click on this add button, two actions will be performed. First one is submitting the form and the second one is refreshing the form. So refreshing the page. Okay. So these two things we need to stop so here if you go to the main.js now we need to add an item add an item here first let's capture the form so we know that form a form element is document dot query selector or otherwise you can also use get element by id of add iphone item right so this is our form now when this form element is submitted this time we need you should not use the click event we need to use the add event listener submit okay when this one is submitted so then we need to write a functionality so that functionality is nothing but add item so i am taking a new functionality add item so i am going to function add item so now here we will be having an event now what i want to do so this is a form element first what i need to do so the first step is i need to capture this value Okay, whatever the input text value they are adding, I need to capture this value. So in order to capture this value, we got the form element. Inside this form element, we have an input value. So here I, what I can do is let input value is equal to form element. We got the form element. Form element dot query selector of input type is equal to text. And I can use dot value. You'll get the value. Dot value. Now let's do the console.log of input value. So I'm doing console.log of input value. That's it. So now if you do the console.log and if I try to enter some value and click on add, so the page is getting refreshed. But we are able to get the value, but the page is getting refreshed. In order to stop the page, in order to stop this form. The default behavior we have a method that is nothing but event dot prevent default. So you already know about this one. What I am explaining event dot prevent default to stop the default behavior of the form instead of submitting. So now if I try to add it, oh let me refresh. Yeah, instead of adding, hey, why this one is refreshing? Okay, I didn't save it. Okay, fine. So now if I try to enter, see here we are able to get the form input value. Now what I need to do so after getting this value. I need to add it to the items in the list. So this list has a HTML structure. So I cannot use whatever the HTML I want it, right? So this list has an HTML structure. Where is this HTML structure? Yeah. 
So here if you try to see li items, so this is the HTML structure we are having. So let's copy this one. Now if I try to paste it here, so this is the HTML structure actually we are having. So now we need to frame this HTML structure in the in the JavaScript. So we know how we can create it. Let's try to create constant li element is equal to document dot create element of li. So we have created element and we'll create constant item, right? Item item element is equal to document dot create element of span so we need to create a span and the last one is constant delete item delete item delete item is equal to document dot create element of span so this is also a span so now we have added this one so now these item and also delete item so we need to add it as a children to this li thing so now what i can do li element dot append child append child of item element and also another one is li element dot append child of delete item that's it so we have added these two things now we what we need to do we need to attach this one to the ul element so let's capture this ul element i am removing this one all i will make it as a comment or otherwise yeah so here let's capture this ul element let ul element we have only the ul one only one ul element in html right so we can use document dot get elements by tag name i can take it with the tag name and it will return an html collection so i will take the only the first one so now ul element we got the ul element you sorry ul element dot append child of this li element that's it so we have added this one all so let's try to see so if i try to click on add so we are able to add some li but the text content and all those things is not visible so let's try to see the html what is this html that has been added here so if you try to see here li so LA has been added to the UL as a child, but the span and all those things are empty. So that means we need to add the text content to this first span and also the second span. So how we can add it? The first span as an item name. So that means it's nothing but an input value. So here I can add item element dot text content is equal to input value. Okay. And this one has a delete. This delete item has a delete. So here I can use item element dot text content is equal to delete. That's it. Now if you try to see here, I will try to add some value. Click here. We are not able to get this value. Input value text content item element dot text content. It's correct only, right? Let's try to try it once again. Why this one is not coming? So why this one is not coming? So the input value is not coming, right? okay 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 so we need to add it for this delete item yeah so let's see again i am adding here we are able to get the value and delete also we are able to get it but the style has got disturbed why because the item has a class with item and class and the other span has a class with delete we need to add those class also so okay fine let's add it item element dot class list dot add of for this one we need to add the item and the another one is delete item dot class list dot add of delete hope this one solves the issue so let's see i can remove this pan everything yeah this is our code so which we have learned the dom manipulation methods <clears throat> i'm adding here add see automatically the the thing has been added so this is how we can add the HTML element to the DOM. So now if I want to delete it automatically, these things will be deleted automatically without any problem. So this is how we will be adding the text content. So now we have completed this delete functionality and also this add functionality is also completed. Now it's time for us to do the hide list and all those things. We'll go one by one. Hope you understood about this one. If you have any doubts or any sessions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.